Hey, this is Jake with Survival News Online, and today I'm going to show you how to tie survival lanyards. Now, the nice thing about these lanyards is that you can use them in so many different ways. So, a lot of people will take this specific weave that I'm about to show you and make it into a bracelet. And then some of, you know, a lot of people just leave it as a lanyard just like this and use it as a keychain or whatever. Or One thing you can do if you just continue the weave back up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can make a larger lanyard like this and it just, it uses a lot of paracord and compresses it down. So it's a really good like little survival bar kind of of paracord and um, I'll show you how to do it. So to make these lanyards you're gonna need paracord. I've got two different colors here so that I can show you the so you can see it better. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one piece of paracord and cut it oh, about six feet long and that should get you uh, that should get you a lanyard about that should get you a lanyard about this long which is good for a bracelet and then you're gonna need a smaller piece which is actually gonna be the size of the lanyard that you want so our lanyard is gonna be about this long so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the middle of your long piece and then you're gonna fold your little piece in half so then once you've got both of these loops you put the long piece over it over the small one and then you can adjust to how long you want the loop of your lanyard to be. So this will work. And then what you're going to do, once you've got it like this, you're going to take one side and you're going to put it over the small piece. And then you're going to take this, this side and put it down so it goes down over the piece that you crossed. Then you're going to wrap that piece around, behind, and then up through that loop that you made at first. And that's one of the, the stitches. Then you're going to take the opposite side. So the first time we wrapped the left side around. Now you're going to wrap the right side around. So I'll show you. It'll be easier to see this time. You wrap it around over the black. And then you take the left side, wrap it over, and then around and through this loop and then pull it tight so each time you're just gonna do the exact same thing except you're gonna alternate which side you start and you can tell which side you're gonna start by which side has this vertical piece of paracord going down that's the side that you wanna wrap I'll show you again wrap it over and then you take this piece and wrap it behind the whole thing and through this loop that you made at first and then pull it tight and see you just keep doing that and you can see the lanyard kind of taking shape right there and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go all the way down this black cord until you have whatever length you want and then you just snip it off and, and melt it down one of the nice things that you can do is you see how you have this centerpiece kind of as your as your base that you wrap around well once you get down to the end here it'll all look like this but then you can just turn it around and use this as the centerpiece see so it'll you just start wrapping like this and use that as the centerpiece then you do it double and it'll look like this so you know here's the single Here's the double, and there's the triple. What you can use these triple stitched lanyards for is kind of like a survival bar of paracord. It condenses a lot of paracord down into a small size, and then you can use that. You could put it in your bug out bag or at your bug out location or whatever. And yeah, it's gonna be a pain to take this apart. It's gonna be a real pain to you know, unstitch in each individual one. There's no quick way to do it. But if I'm in a survival situation and I need some paracord, that's what I'd use this for. I don't need, I don't just, you know, pull it out if I break a shoelace or something like that because it's it's too much of a pain. It's you set this aside for just long-term storage and chances are you're never going to use it. 
never. I mean, the chances of something like that happening are extremely slim. But if you ever are in a situation like that, you've got the paracord you need, and this whole time it's been stored without tangling up and, you know, causing a bunch of mess and, and all sorts of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll be making more lanyard videos. I know how to do a whole bunch of them, and this is just one of the really simple uh, weaves, but it, it's pretty useful, and it makes some nice bracelets and stuff. So. Look out for more videos in the future.